Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so I've been working hard to bring you guys episode five. Hey, look, I get to track now. Now live. So I've been working hard on episode five because U7 just dropped a little bit ago, and I have been dying to try it out. I had to finish this video before I could try out the new update, but here it is, and I'm gonna cut to the action right now by saying, "Welcome back, everybody. This is Mod of Weapons, a Blade and Sorcery episode." Oh, stop the video before I piss myself. Picking up right where we left off, guys. Swing with the weapon of one of the mightiest warriors of Westeros, with Robert Baratheon's Warhammer by Alyosha. A mighty hammer that won the war of the rebellion against the Mad King, and also slain the Targaryen Prince Rhaegar at the Battle of the Trident. Now, Game of Thrones isn't a movie per se, but it does fall in the same category. The head of the hammer is a massive unit, and is accompanied by a top and rear spike. Enemies hit by this weapon have zero chance of holding their ground. The best part I love about this weapon was seeing enemies react accordingly to the visual weight of the hammer. Though the game and the weapon isn't always perfect, so sometimes the NPCs can't take a hit without flinching, I just use that rage to make sure to hit them harder next time. And it's a shame that we didn't really get to see the hammer in the TV shows, so try out this mod yourself and explore what kind of chaos you can cause. And for this last special boy, we're gonna find out who's been sending these assassins after us. That was those Lannister dogs. While the living squabble amongst themselves, we shall soon see that the real threat will rise to meet them. Introducing Blood Moon by Questionality. This is a custom waves mod that adds an undead-like theme to the enemies, making them tougher, meaner, and greener. With three levels of varying difficulty, with more and more enemies, will you be able to survive the horde? Fight on, King Robert. I believe in you. Maybe he might need a little help, but who to call for aid? The North shall answer the call, and led by none other than Ned Stark. But what's this? He's not alone. Jon Snow? Arya Stark? Now this is a Game of Thrones scene that you won't want to miss. Joining along with Team Movies and Robert's Warhammer, all from the mod creator Alyosha, we have Ned Stark's sword, Ice, Jon Snow's Valerian steel sword, Longclaw, one with blue eyes and one with red eyes, and a combo for Arya Stark, Needle, and her Valerian steel dagger. Anybody else get the feeling we were supposed to be helping somebody right now? All the weapons are beautifully modded and ported in the of Sorcery. As a big Game of Thrones fan, it was such a joy to fire these iconic weapons. Added with the mix with this undead theme, it was so much fun. So for these next scenes, I'm just gonna sit back and relax and let the weapons do the talking for me. Now then, I think that's the last of those cursed undead. Pain in the ass, am I right? Thou art wrong and correct, that they are undead, but they are just poor beings who have lost their humanity and become hollow. 
I am on a journey to the first kiln, and must collect more souls to light the flame, which thou art laden with, Robert. So ready yourself, and prepare to die. Scouring the entire lore of Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, I present to you guys the Dark Souls Stray Swords Mod Pack by Yuri. And saying Mod Pack for this is a bit of an understatement. Yuri has packed so many swords in this mod, even you might go hollow trying to test them all out. All the designs are gorgeous and work wonderfully in game. The fighting is of course the same as these were all straight swords, but having such a variety of swords really reminded me of how much the difference of a sword can add to the level of personality while playing the game. Very much like getting a new sword in Dark Souls can totally change up your whole playstyle. Mod packs like these really push the idea that Blade and Sorcery is definitely the number one VR game right now from all the ideas that modders can introduce here. And there are way too many swords for me to give an in-depth explanation on each, so I'm just going to showcase a few of them and let you guys enjoy the highlights. And you know what, if Game of Thrones is going to have a little backup, I think I have an idea of who can come to the assist of these Dark Souls weapons. We're going to let this go full blood guts and mayhem with the Saw Cleaver by Ibedium. So I love the Dark Souls games, but shamefully I have to admit I have not played Bloodborne yet. I've watched others play the game, and I've seen this iconic weapon all over the posters. And I really wish I had my own personal experiences to draw from when playing with this weapon. The main thing off the get-go about how awesome this weapon is, is its ability to change from two different forms, just like in its game. It's got its one-handed saw blade, as well as the double-handed cleaver blade on the other end. This is another one of those weapons that I just gotta say, you gotta try it out yourself so you can see just how much blood, guts, and chaos you can cause. So will you end the dream, blink the flame and end the curse of the undead? Or will you continue the nightmare, or perhaps become the lord of men, a dark lord, and usher in the age of dark? You pathetic fools, you know nothing of being a dark lord. Across the stars I've built the galactic empire, in your world, are just blips of light that I pass in hyperspace. <laughs> 